there is a least talked secret of communication which very few communication skills coach will share with you in fact it's not their mistake in fact they don't know it but they don't see the prominence of that secret which we are going to learn today in this video you might be wondering what is that secret of communication Saurabh? I think I know it all but what is that secret? Now let me ask you a question. Now, if I ask you this, what is communication? How would you define communication? If I ask you this question, can you please answer that for me? Okay, you might be thinking Saurabh communication when English speaking. Okay, I agree with you. What else? You might be thinking Saurabh it's about body language. That's, that's fine. What else? You may say voice modulation. That's fine. What else? You may say structure. That's okay. What else? You may say gestures, that's fine. What else? And many people stop here. In fact, a lot of communication coaches will stop here. And they say, this is communication, nothing else is left. We have covered all of communication. That's where great communicators, great speakers have an edge over others because they know a secret. They know a secret of communication which is least talked about. And you might be wondering, what is it, Sora? Please tell me. And let me reveal that secret for you. Okay. Now, all this we understood just now, like body language, voice modulation, eye connection, storytelling, structure, all these are good communication aspects. But you know what? Even though you combine all them together, it's just 20% of communication because it is external communication. What kind of communication? External. Which means this is outside, body language is outside, eye connection is outside, your smile is outside, your words are outside, English is outside. These are external communication and all of us work on just this external communication. And you know what, it is only 20% of real communication. Now what else is 80 which very few people talk about and that is internal communication and that communication which is internal that decides your external communication. Let me repeat this once again. 80% of internal communication design or decides your external communication. Now let me show this practically to you. You might be wondering, sort of, my body language is not so good. You might be wondering, sort of, my eye connection is not so good. Sort of, my smile, I cannot smile in a group of audience. Sort of, I cannot speak English properly. Now all these are external problems and you try to fix them externally, you know what, you will never fix them. The reason is your external fame is decided by your internal gain. Now unless you fix internally what you talk to you, you cannot communicate externally properly. Please understand this, let me repeat this once again. Unless you understand to talk internally to you in a proper way, you cannot learn to express comfortably and confidently externally. Now what is this internal communication? This internal communication is what you say to you about you. Now assuming you say it to yourself a lot of times that Saurabh I am not good at English, Saurabh my body language is bad, Saurabh I am not a confident speaker. I cannot use body language comfortably. My language is not so good. I'm not good enough. Something is missing. If you keep talking all this to you, about you, again and again internally, that's a verbal communication you're doing internally about you. You know what? The moment you start talking to people in front of them, obviously your body language will not be good because your internal communication decides your external communication. If you tell to yourself, I'm not good enough, obviously body won't be showing that confidence to the people because body shows you're not good enough. Your eye connection will show to the people that you're not good enough. I hope you're getting this. Now what to learn first? First focus on that 80 person which no one will tell you. I'm sure you go to any communication skills training, they'll stop at body language, voice modulation, eye connection, storytelling, structures and they'll say tada bye bye, game is over, go and sit at home and practice. It, it's not going to help unless you fix your self image, unless you fix how you talk to you about you. So please repeat this after me. Say I am good enough. I am good enough. I am capable. I am a good speaker. I have that secret within me to achieve all success. I have that power within me to achieve all my dreams. Start talking 
to yourself in a positive way start communicating to yourself in a positive way and this is verbal communication which means you're talking to yourself through words inside you second thing is how do you talk to yourself with an image you start seeing yourself okay just close your eyes and start seeing yourself talking comfortably and confidently with a great body language with a great voice with a big smile on your face just see yourself successful in your brain first in your imagination first see yourself that person which you always wanted to be this is internal communication which means you talk to you about you in a way you want to be in a way you want to look like making sense so this is you talking through imagination through your visualization through images which means have an image of a person you want to become like talk the words you want to become like and feel the feelings you want to have in your life you want to feel happy feel happy in your life okay create feelings of happiness create feelings of joy when you start addressing this communication which is 80 percent please mind me 80 percent okay when you learn to talk to yourself comfortably and confidently when you start saying to yourself i'm good enough I have great body language, I am a great speaker, I can talk to anyone, my English is great. When you fix your internal communication, you know what, you need not even work so hard on external communication. Just by having the right internal communication, external communication happens by default. External communication is an outcome of internal communication. Making sense, yes? So I request you, it's my humble request. Please don't just focus on external communication. Your external communication is a reflection of what you talk to yourself internally. Say to yourself, I am good enough because you are good enough. Okay, I hope it makes sense. So please put this in practice. Now these secret every great leader knows. This is the language of leadership. Every great leader knows it. They don't even work on external. First they work on internal. First they fix themselves. First, they have an image of themselves successful in their head. They have a language of they successful in themselves. They say, I'm good enough. They say, I'm more than enough. I have more than enough. Okay. I can achieve all my dreams. They have a positive language for themselves. And that positive language reflects in their actions, reflects in their body language, reflects in their language, whatever English, Tamil, Malayalam, whatever they speak. Yeah. So please apply this. Focus on the least talked secret of communication, which is internal communication. I hope you'll apply this and I promise you, if you apply this in your life, your life can transform in a different direction and it will give you a new hope and new understanding that this is real communication, the 80%, which is your internal communication. If you like the video, please subscribe. If you have any question, mention in the comment section below. I'm going to share these videos frequently with you all. So please subscribe and wait for the videos. Thank you so much.